G'day, g'day, g'day. We are here. Day five of the can advent calendar, or advent calendar, I don't know if they're all cans, um, from Purvis. They didn't sponsor this, by the way. I, I, the wife got it for me. So it's good in a way. I can be as honest uh, as always. If I can get this number five off, <laughs> hang on. I can't get it off. Edge Brewing Project, Native Leaf Strawberry Gum Sizen. Saison. Oh, it's lively. I should have went a bit slower on the pour. Oh, that's a weird, um, oh, very strange aroma. I'd nearly say medicinal, but I don't think it's in, a, in that. When you say medicinal, you know, you associate it with something that's wrong or off flavors. But I haven't looked at the ingredients yet. But if they say gum, and that looks like a, a, a uh, an Australian flower on the front from maybe a eucalyptus tree or something. Before I put my foot in it, let's have a read. Highlighting an unsung native ingredient backed by farmhouse funk, we present our first virtual beer festival collab. Here I am saying that none of these beers are gonna be like this. Here is one. In collaboration with Denmark's charismatic cartoonist brewer, Beer Here of Born, it didn't work the second time either. Um, with Enigma hops uh, used for bitterness, the sessionable farmhouse ale is infused with strawberry gum leaves, native to the northern tablelands of New South Wales, which impart a berry aroma and light eucalyptus note. That's what I was getting. This enhances the fruity, spicy and refreshing characteristic of this lively beer. Lively's right. But that's what I was getting when I said the medicinal. I was nearly gonna say eucalyptus, but I just wanted to, to read the can before I put my foot in it. It's bizarre, it's not, it doesn't, it's not like, you know, it's not like you squeeze a eucalyptus leaf. It's not that sort of eucalyptus or, you know, eucalyptus oil. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really weird aroma. When I say weird, you know, it's, it's weird for beer. <laughs> it's not an aroma I'm, I'm, uh, I'm used to. Oh, it was nice and clear until I got the bottom of that can. I shouldn't have put the bottom in. That's one reason I hate cans. Because you, it's easier to get that sludge in. When you're pouring a bottle, you can see the, the yeast or the sludge in the bottom of the bottle get near the neck and you stop pouring. That's much harder in cans. It's a strange aroma. Well, I guess, you know, using uh, a eucalyptus tree or a gum, uh, a gum tree, uh, <laughs> you don't expect it in beer, do you? Oh, it's bizarre. Again, I'm not sure I like it. G give me a chance if I had one sip, but. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I was excited for it. Said it interesting, it poured fresh, it looked great until I put the yeast in. It was nice and clear, bright, lively, but I don't know, I can't get past that aroma and it's not disappearing. I thought it might have just been in the can, like some of the other beers I've had. To, um, you know, you've had the, you get it strong in the can and then it sort of dissipates a bit. I'll give it a little bit of time. Might put it down and stop the video for a sec. Look, I don't think I can get past that smell. I really don't. It's, I don't like it in beer. It's, it is, it's a medicinal, um, I, I, it doesn't, I, I, I don't know, it's not for me. Oh God, if, I, if you could get rid of that, you know, again, no, I can't do it. I can't do this one, it's awful. I shouldn't say it's awful, but for me, that, that smell, I thought it would you know, smooth out a bit or whatever, but I can't do that in a beer. I can't drink it. It's like drinking like a really strong, um, you know, what do they call it? Like a essential essence or whatever they are, essential oils type thing. 
Uh, no, nah, that's not for me. Sorry, guys. That is a definite no. That's even lower than the first beer. Uh, Edge Brewing Project. Drink at your own risk. That is... I shouldn't... You should never diss... Well, I, I don't think it's, it's my job to diss um, beers, but that... And I never do it live, but I've got to get through this calendar and I've got to be totally honest. Drink at your own risk. I can't drink that. I've got to tip that out. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow. That's all. That's all.